Little John June Haynes had strong ties to the 39ers. He grew up in the Florida Project with members like Ashton Price, Jasmine Perry, and Evans Lewis. Daryl Franklin grew up with his older brothers and called Haynes a close friend. But according to Franklin, Haynes had a hand in the murder of one of their associates. He was also rumored to be involved in a plot to kill Ashton Price, Perry, and Lewis. As for Gregory Stewart, Stewart believed that Haynes was the person responsible for the robbery of a woman he was supplying with drugs. The 39ers had been searching for Haynes for some time. But in February of 2011, he would walk right into their hands. On February 20, 2011, members of the 39ers were present at a repass on the G Strip. While people party, Stewart is hard asleep in the back of Daryl Franklin's Infinity M35. According to Stewart, he was upset because other members of the 39ers wouldn't allow him to kill someone at the event. But that was about to change. As Daryl Franklin sat outside of his home enjoying the festivities, he was approached by a familiar face. The face was the face of Little John June Haynes, the man the 39ers had been searching for. According to Franklin, Haynes wanted to clear his name. But showing up at the event was a fatal mistake, and even Daryl Franklin couldn't control what was already in motion. Gregory Stewart is awakened by members of the 39ers, alerting him that Haynes has been spotted talking to Franklin. Franklin tries to spare Haynes by telling him to leave. But as he's trying to convince Haynes, he can see members of the 39ers disappearing into the alleyways, and he knows they are scrambling for weapons. Haynes makes a run for it, but he won't get very far. Stewart and four other 39ers get into their vehicle and go after Haynes. The men are driving a white Impala which they know looks nearly identical to an undercover police vehicle. They catch up with Haynes about two blocks away. Haynes makes another fatal mistake. When the 39ers pull up in the white Impala, Haynes mistakes them for the police and puts his hands in the air. Evans Lewis rolls down the window and hits Haynes with a shotgun round. He falls to the ground. Four men, including Gregory Stewart, get out of the vehicle armed and stand over Haynes pumping him with bullets. He is shot more than 40 times and dies at the scene. Stewart and the other 39ers head back to finish partying. Jarrell Marcel West, also known as G-Baby, was loved by many. He grew up in the neighborhood of 3rd and Galvez and was seen as a good kid by members of the 39ers. On April 24, 2011, West was gunned down outside of an island aquaries by members of the Calliop. His death was devastating. Stewart and the 39ers wasted no time getting revenge for the death of G-Baby. For four days after his death they drove through the Calliop, looking for someone to make pay. On April 28, 2011, Stewart received a call telling him that members of the Calliop were congregating outside in the project. He teamed up with another well-known and experienced killer, a man known as Big Wash. Also present was Damien Barnes, also known as A.D. Again, it was Stewart who drew up the hit. Stewart gave Barnes his most trusted weapon, a 223 caliber rifle with a 100-round clip. He told Barnes to shoot until someone falls and he would finish the job. Big Wash would be the getaway driver. When they arrive in the Calliop, they spring into action. Things go exactly as planned. Barnes lets loose with the rifle until someone is hit and falls. The victim is a man named Floyd Moore. Unfortunately for Moore, he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Stewart stands over the man holding an AK-47 as he pleads for his innocent life. But Stewart has no mercy. He finished the job. Floyd Moore died at the scene. Eleven documented murders under his belt, soon to be twelve. But Stewart's last kill will be a costly one. It will come with mistakes. Kendrick Smothers is another person who started out as a friend of Stewart. But according to Stewart, he had been playing both sides. Stewart also owed Smothers a $7,000 drug debt. A recipe for disaster. On May 24, 2011, Stewart arranged for the murder of Smothers. Stewart's plan was to lure Smothers into a trap by telling him to come collect his money. 
when he arrived, Jasmine Perry and Evans Lewis would be waiting for him. Stewart has Smothers wait around the corner while he sets up the ambush. When everything is in place he tells Smothers to meet him at a location on Congress Street. When Smothers arrives, they notice he has someone else in the vehicle. Stewart tells him to wait while he goes to get the money. When Smothers gets out of his vehicle, Evans Lewis shoots him once in the face with a handgun. When he falls to the ground, Jasmine Perry joins in. While Evans Lewis takes care of the passenger in the vehicle, Perry approaches Smothers with an AK-47 and fires until he is sure Smothers is dead. Stewart, Perry, and Lewis flee the scene. Later that night, Stewart learns that somehow Kendrick Smothers, the man who was the target of the hit, miraculously survives. Stewart is now a wanted man. He also learns that the passenger in Smothers' vehicle was his childhood friend, a man named Gregory Keyes. Keyes did not survive the hit. Stewart would go on the run for a few months before he is captured. While in custody, he makes the decision to cooperate with authorities. Not only does Stewart give information that would lead to the arrest and convictions of the 39ers, he also gives information on members of ROD, members of the Desire, the Young Melf Mafia, and a group called FND. At trial, Stewart gave the brutal and grim details of the murders the 39ers committed. He was at times defiant, braggadocious, and proud. How valuable Stewart's testimony and information is to the United States government remains to be seen. No one truly knows the specific final details of his sentencing, except Gregory Stewart and those closest to him. It is an ongoing process. But one thing is for sure, Gregory Stewart will go down as one of the most ruthless killers in Louisiana history.